Hey again, Shaliners. Today, I wanna to talk about how to know if your boyfriend is still in love with his ex and having feelings for her. Now, this is part two in a two-part series that I'm doing. In part one that I already have up and live and posted, we talked about how to tell. What are the warning signs? What are the red flags? Well, just a quick recap. Number one, he talks to her. That's a very bad thing. He's gonna probably try to say, oh, we're just friends. If they don't have kids or a business or a dog or a whatever that they share, or some logistical reason they have to speak, they shouldn't be. There's seven billion people in this world, at least. This is the only female friend he can find? No. He, he wants to be friends with a girl, all right, fine. Like, I personally don't accept that in my relationships, no. But it doesn't need to be with someone he's had sex with and has all this emotional baggage towards. If they're still friends and they're still talking, first of all, they're not friends because friendship is neutral. I don't have emotional baggage with my girlfriends. I haven't slept with any of them. It should be a neutral situation. If he's still talking to her, it's because there's some unfinished business. And you don't want it to be unfinished business in a good way or in a bad way. That's another red flag. He hates her. That's not good either. The opposite of love isn't hate, it's apathy. And you want him to feel just whatever-ish about her. She's, she's fine, wish her the best, don't need to talk to her. That's what you want. Another red flag is that he talks about her. If she's coming up in conversations where there's no business to insert her name, if he's comparing you to her, these are also very bad things. But overall, I told you that the biggest thing you need to listen to is your gut instinct. The number one way men can control women is by telling us we're crazy. We're great. You're great. You're being crazy. Oh my ex, she was crazy. That girl, I heard she's crazy. It's like the worst insult we can hear. Don't let someone bamboos bamboozle you like this. It's an emotional control tactic. If you in your gut know like you know like you know that something doesn't pass a smell test, you have the right to investigate that further. So say you've drawn the conclusion that, yeah, there's something not quite right here. Not just based on your own instinct, but based on pieces of evidence. Maybe he stalks her on social media. Mmm, that's not good, right? Well, you never know. Sometimes guys just check in on their exes, like whatever. Sometimes they just go scroll through and like every single photo they come across. But if he's interacting with her, if he seems real concerned with what she's doing on social media, who she's dating now, again, that's not good. Because what? The opposite of love isn't hate, it's apathy. And he shouldn't care that much. So, say you got these pieces of evidence, right? What do you do? Because you kind of need some evidence because while people will be like, you're crazy. So, you, that can kind of like come across as the case if you just go to someone and you're like, I think you still have feelings for her. And he's like, based on what? And you're like, I don't know, just, I don't know. So it's helpful to go to him with a list of reasons. And I want you to pick four. I want you to pick four things you need him to stop doing to make you feel better. And this is how you phrase it all. You sit down and be like, hey, I get this feeling that there's just kind of some unfinished business with you and Hannah. I don't know what, I, I don't, I don't, truthfully, I don't want to know what because I feel like she has already become a third party in our relationship more than she should be because of X, Y, and Z. You talk to her, you go to get coffee with her, um, your friends bring her up, you compare me to her. Let's say it's those three things. Maybe you're always tagging her in memes, which like, don't do that. Tag me, I'm your girlfriend, I hate that. So you need to present him with four things that he can do differently. Because if you just go to a guy and you're like, well, I don't like something. Like guys don't respond very well to that. Men communicate to solve problems. Women communicate to build relationships. So a guy, when you're communicating with him, he's gonna wanna know like, okay, how do I solve this problem? Give me an action. Give me an actionable verb, something to do. So if you can say, all right, I need you to not hang out with her anymore. I need you to unfollow her on every social network. And I need you to tell your friends never to bring her up again. Then you give him two weeks to do that. Ma maximum, maximum. I'm an impatient bitch. You can have like two days and then that's when the trouble starts. And I also think it's worth telling him like, you know, if you feel really compelled to keep having her in your life, I think that there's unfinished business here. And I think that you need to sit down with her and have that conversation, whatever it is. Hannah, I can't believe you cheated on me and I've never addressed it and it's messed me up and I just need to get this off my chest. If he feels like he needs some sort of closure, encourage him to go do that. Maybe. As I've said in other videos, I have a whole video on closure, actually. I'll tag it here in the cards. Um, 
Closure is not something other people can give us. Closure is something we have to give ourselves. Because when you think about it, people who hurt us so bad that we need closure aren't able to communicate enough and get in touch with their feelings enough to give us that balm for our emotions that we're needing. If they could, they wouldn't have hurt us like this in the first place. Do you know what I mean? They're not capable. So to sit down with someone who's hurt you so badly and so deeply that you still feel this emotional tie to them, it's almost gonna make things worse. And maybe try to communicate that to your boyfriend. Be like, if you have unfinished issues about this relationship, I need you to get right with that somehow on your own. Write her a letter that you don't send. Go see a therapist. Send her a final goodbye email and say, I don't need to have any more contact with you. Whatever it is, she needs to be removed from this situation. Then you see what he does. Say you give him two weeks and say nothing's changed. You catch him liking her photos. You catch them talking. You catch him doing this, whatever. Or he just flat out says, no, I don't think, I don't think that this is a problem. I think you're being ridiculous. I don't see why I should have to slash and burn everyone from my past to ameliorate your crazy jealousy. Crazy. You see? You see? I believe that while, yes, sometimes we can act unreasonably in relationships, I also believe in our right to dictate our own boundaries. What works for me in a relationship might not work for you. What works for you might not work for someone else. That's okay. We are allowed to determine our own ideal relationships. And you have the right in your relationship with your boyfriend to be like, that's simply not okay with me. You can say it's unreasonable. You can say I'm being crazy, whatever. At the end of the day, I need X, not Y. So you can tell him like, all right, if that's your position, you need to decide then. You cannot look ahead and behind at the same time. You cannot be invested in me and still tied to her at the same time. Humans only have so much emotion to give. We only have so much energy. We only have so much time in the day. So if you're focusing on her, that's, that's energy that you're not spending on me. That's future you're not planning with me. So I think you need to decide if you want her, then you need to go be with her. Don't keep me on the hook as like some placeholder while maybe you're waiting for her to come back or whatever it is. Sort it out and that's it. The problem here is <laughs> you actually have to like listen, you know? Like if you give a guy that kind of, I don't wanna say it's an ultimatum because I hate that word and I hate, I hate the concept of ultimatums because they don't work, they ultimately backfire. But this is simply you laying out what you need to be happy and if he doesn't agree with that, but that's the thing, if he doesn't, if he's like, well, I don't think so then you actually do have to walk away because he's made his choice. And a lot of times people aren't going to tell you like, no, no, I'm gonna keep on talking to her. They'll just minimize and they won't finish the argument and all this, but sometimes no answer is an answer. And that's when you have to look real hard at his behavior and that's when you have to look really hard at yourself and be like, am I okay being second place in this relationship? Because if I'm not first, then what am I? Again, he only has so much energy, so much time, so much emotion. Why do I think it's okay that I'm not getting all of it. Why do I feel unworthy? I'm not unworthy. I am worth someone's undivided attention. I hope this has been helpful. This is a huge thing everyone has to deal with, especially in the age of social media, because before when you broke up with someone, they just kind of like drifted back out into the world. And in a way breakups were harder because it's like when you lost them, you lost them. You don't know where they are now. But now it's hard because, oh, you didn't lose them. They're right there. Just a just a, just a scroll thumb away down your Instagram feed. There you are, James. It sucks. So do what you need to do to feel okay. And remember that he, if he's choosing these behaviors, he's also choosing his consequences. And therefore, you get to choose whether or not you wanna stay in this relationship. If you enjoyed this video, click like and comment below. I love reading your guys' comments. It's the easiest place for me to answer your questions. So please, please, please comment up a storm. I love it. And click subscribe. Gonna do new videos every Friday. And I, tell me if you like this filming situation. Filming at the YouTube studios is just such a pain in the ass. It's beautiful, but like, it's so much easier for me to do it here. And if you guys find this acceptable, then I can do so many more videos, which I think is gonna be better. But tell me your thoughts and follow me on social, Twitter, Instagram, and Snap at ShallonXO.